Who's ready to look at a batch of rocks from Lake Superior? These rocks are from a little bit west of the Two Hearted River. Uh, it's a little bit of an adventure getting there. The road is really sandy, but it's worth the drive because the beach is beautiful and the rocks are plentiful. Let's start out with this big one, which is one of my favorites in the whole batch. Uh, I guess you'd call that a brecciated rock. Not 100% sure about that. A little spot up here that didn't tumble real well. I actually took that out of the tumbler and ground that down because it didn't look good and threw it back in the tumbler for another week and it still looked like that. So I decided just to live with it. Very cool rock. Next up is a piece of unikite, one of my favorites to pick up. Really nice bright one. This isn't the uh, best tumble ever. There's a big chip in it right there that uh, it wasn't there when I threw it in the lotto tumbler, but it was there after, and you can see there's little pits in it. So some of that stuff just wasn't going to come out, so I decided to show you all the rocks, and that way if you're picking up rocks, you can kind of know what to expect. They don't all turn out great, but that's still a pretty cool rock. I think that one's quartzite. It's like the yellow stripes in it. This is banded iron formation, so it has jasper stripes, that's the red, and you can see right in the middle there, there's right above my thumb, uh, that's hematite, or hematite if you prefer, there's another stripe of it right there. So jasper and hematite. This piece of uh, quartzite, I think, and it's all white there, but it has this nifty little stain right there, which is why I picked it up. I'm calling that the yoke. When I picked this one up, it looked kind of like sandstone. I was worried it wasn't going to tumble. And it doesn't have as good a shine as the other ones, but it's not bad. And I just love that pattern. That might be my favorite one in the batch. I need to show you this one when I picked it up. Look at that. I think that's uh, magnetite, but I don't have my magnet with me today. Oh, it'll look better dry. Almost 100% sure that's that is. I might tumble that one. I don't know if it tumbles well or not, but I'm going to give it a try. So, you can see it still has some of the geometric patterns there. But you kind of have to turn it just right in the light to see them. Uh, i got to call this one a failure and a disappointment, and I won't be picking any more of it up. But you can see it still is magnetic. So it's got that going for it. Not sure what that one is. There's a really nice banded iron. Love that red stripe going through the middle there. Another piece of unikite. I would apologize for showing you too much unikite, but I know a lot of other people like unikite as much as I do, so no apologies from me. Well, this is uh, some sort of quartz, I think. You see that middle part there? It looks more crystally right through there. That looks like the inside of an agate. Uh, oftentimes has a crystal pocket that looks like that. But there's no agate on it, so I don't know if this is was an agate and the agate part all wore off and just left the quartzy center or if it's just something else. I don't know. More unikite. This is a cool rock. Looks kind of agatey, but not quite. This is one that I would call a maggot. It may be an agate, but I don't think it is. I don't see any hematite in that one, so I think that's just jasper. This appears to be chert. Not as cool as some cherts I find. I find some really nice banded ones, but this does have kind of two colors going on, which is probably why I picked it up. Not sure what this is. It looks a little bit like a moss agate up in here. 
I'm not saying it is a Moss Agate, but that's what it reminds me of. Piece of Epidote. Epidote's the green mineral that's in Unikite, but I don't see any red in this one, but I like the two-tone colors there, two different greens. I think that's probably Quartzite. It has some faint bands going there, and it's got a little bit of a pinkish hue to it. It actually feels rough in some places. It looks pretty shiny, but it's got some rough texture to it, so that one's not the best one ever. I'm not, not really sure why I picked that up. Here's another two-toned epidote. More banded iron formation. Some yellow quartz. I believe that's actually white quartz that's been iron stained. Uh, when I find larger ones of these and I've tried to slice them to, to get a nice yellow slab, it's almost always white in the middle. And if this is a little bit bigger, this would probably be the same same thing. Might be small enough that the iron soaked in far enough to be yellow all the way through. Stripey rock. Epidote. Don't know. Not a hundred percent sure that I have the before picture right for this one. Uh, you pick up this clear quartz and they all kind of look the same after you tumble them a little bit. So I did the best I can. I might have the right before picture. I like how transparent that one is. It's it's more transparent than some other ones. Not really sure what that one is. Another little unikite. Much more feldspar on the back of it. More epidote on this side. It's a pretty little quartz or quartzite. Not sure which. I like the red in it. You have this one. That's that color on that side, and a completely different color on the other side. Nice contrast. Really bright piece of jasper. Another one of those clearish quartzes that may or may not have the right before picture. And then there's this little guy. You know what I think you should do now? I think you should go watch the video where Sam and I picked up all these rocks. So click on that and I'll see you over there.